I have a number of functions and scripts I've been working on for several months or even several years and I'm always having to make changes to them and updates to them. Now I'm not using version control because they're mainly for internal um, informal tasks. So the way I make changes to the code is I tend to just comment out a piece of code, make a copy of it, make some changes, see if it works, and if it works I'll go ahead and just leave the comment there just in case uh, I want to change the code back to where it was before or to if I want to be able to search for a technique I used um, in the past. So what happens is you end up getting is a buildup of uh, comments in, um, in code and it can make the code kind of uh, uh, messy when there's so many of these things around. The comments uh, left around. Here's some other examples here of files I've got a buildup of uh, old comments. Uh, so to help with this I made a simple backup utility and it's a shortcut. All I have to do is click the button usually uh, just before I'm making some changes, uh, big changes to the, the um, function or script or before I clear out a lot of comments I'll just make a, a backup like this. I get a little confirmation box saying backup saved and where it was saved to. And then I can go ahead and uh, do some um, cleanup um, knowing that that code is, is saved somewhere else so I can search for it if necessary. So let's look at how that works. If I take a look at the shortcut all it says is calls the function make backup. Let's take a look at that function. And I think what's useful is actually just to, uh, just to call it and um, step through it to show um, how it works. So I'm going to call it again and here it is. So the first thing it does is that it uses a feature to return an object describing the currently active document in the editor. I'll add a note about this feature in the blog post. So I'm then going to get the folder and file name from the, from the um, document object and then going to calculate a backup, a backup folder and my backup folders are always, I put them into the same folder as the file in the subfolder called backups. And if that doesn't, uh, if it already exists, it skips. If it doesn't exist, it uh, creates the folder like that. Then it creates a backup folder for the actual file itself. It does that by just appending the file name um, onto the subfolder, onto the backup folder. If that doesn't exist, it makes it. And then it calculates a file name for the actual backup file. And I want to use a name where it could actually be executed if I want to. Now all I do to make it unique, I just choose, I just tag on the date to the end. And uh, so the string, if you just do um, date string of now, you get a string that looks like that. And the only invalid characters here are space, colon, and hyphen. So I'm just going to strip those guys out to have a string that looks like that and then I'm going to make a folder. Then I'm going to make a file that looks like that. And then I just copy the current file into that file. Then I pop up a message box that I can just that just gives me some confirmation that it worked and then I can just, uh, then I can say OK. Continue. So here's an example of a very simple informal technique for taking backups of your code without having to use um, corporate backups or version control and still letting you search for previous versions of um, functions and scripts for certain types of code.